Sometimes I think people um, who aren't present every day in, in the neighborhoods aren't aware of, of what's still happening. Sometimes we just need to remind them. So every day, literally every day, the first thing I do in the morning is I start in Rock Springs and I drive around, I check in with people, then I drive through here and check in with people, then I go to the mobile home park. And uh, I've been doing that every day. I haven't, haven't been stopped. I've done that every day since after the flood because we just, we just want to make sure that things are okay and that we're connecting people the right way. By Saturday night, they had taken the last couple things of furniture out of the house to throw out here, and the back of them was already covered in black mold just from four days of sitting there. And we lived here for seven years, pretty much since we were married, and the rent did not keep up with everything around, and we didn't realize that until we started looking and to get something like this. So we're looking at having to move outside of the Bay Area Possibly, I have family in Pennsylvania, so possibly back to Pennsylvania. What we're most concerned about right now, the most urgent situations, are families who are displaced, particularly with kids, with seniors, with people with, with uh, physical disabilities who need to get safely housed. And uh, so we're really trying to focus the resources on getting people in stable housing again. Me and my husband, Joe, were both disabled, and um, it's really hard. It's really hard. At the end of the day, sure, we're, we're both tired. We're dead tired. You know, maybe I'll cry, but you got to keep pushing. You know, you got to keep pushing. That's how, you know, that's how it is. I mean, everybody's going through it. We can cry on each other's shoulders, we can pray together, you know, but we know by the end of the day, the next day we're going to be up and doing it again.